what up everybody welcome back to way of the hunter and apparently while i was on vacation uh they decided to uh push out a uh, rather substantial update and uh, we're getting called from S bear uh, yeah they put out a pretty substantial update while i was on vacation and so today i think we're going to take a quick look at what those updates are and uh kind of see if we can get a few of these uh, uh, items to show up uh, but right now we got ourselves a, a black bear and uh, let's pop into the, uh, the good old photo mode here and, and see where it's at. There they are. And uh, no, we don't want to pause the game. Uh, but yeah, so um, I will kind of put up on the screen here uh real quick what the uh or at least some of the items that were listed in the uh patch notes um but the 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 thing that I am the most excited about is that they have added some more rare fur variations specifically for um aurora shores which is where we are uh they have added an albino wood bison and a melanistic alaskan moose so we will have to be on the lookout for those uh right now we got mr bear they're chilling like a villain. And I know there was a second bear. Somewhere. I don't see it though. Right at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so. That was. Uh, one of the things they've added. Uh, they also added some Aurora Shores achievements. Uh, which. Apparently are retroactive because when I first opened the game today, it popped up with a whole bunch of achievements being completed even before I actually played. There's uh also an ambient volume slider in the audio options uh which if we pop in here real quick we'll we'll take a quick look um you can see we got the the sound or right here the ambient uh volume here uh they also have given us a progress reset in the main menu if you if you want to start over And uh, not going to go through all of them, but they also uh, added a rare fur identifier in the claim screen. Uh, so that way, if you uh, are not sure if it is a rare fur, you can uh, now be notified. He's just he's just not gonna come up, is he? But then they also added in, and this was something that I was secretly wanting. Uh, they added in 
and we'll pop into the map now to show it. Uh, they were they added in some new fast travel locations. Uh, you see, we have these question marks here, and uh, without going and actually looking at these question marks, eh, they're not all there. Uh, but I know for a fact that that is a parking location. I know that that is a parking location. And I'm pretty sure that those two are parking locations as well. And so uh, we now can uh, discover those destinations and fast travel directly to those parking lots. And uh, that'll be nice because there were there were uh, there was there was a need for it basically. Sorry, I'm getting I'm getting uh, distracted. I know there's two bears. I just can't see the second one. Oh, there he is. So we got both of them there. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, I hope everyone is having a good day. And if you do find yourself enjoying Way of the Hunter, I would appreciate if you guys would click on that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would appreciate if you would also subscribe. Uh, both of those things help me out. And lets me know that you guys want to see more of this kind of content. Also helps with the uh, good old YouTube algorithm. And, uh, yeah. Before we go any further, guys, I did want to uh, mention that I have partnered up with Epic Water Filters. If you go to epicwaterfilters.com and use the discount code Idaho Panhandle, uh, you can get uh, such products as the uh, water bottle that you see here, uh, which comes with a charcoal water filter that you can kind of see there at the bottom and we'll be able to see better on the uh, next slide. Um, they also have options for in-home faucets and, and other options. Um, but if you also go to epicwaterfilters.com and there, there is the filter, uh, you can also find out about how they are trying to eliminate the single-use water bottle, uh, plastic water bottles. Um, but again, if you go to epicwaterfilters.com and use the discount code Idaho Panhandle, you will save 20% off of your order. Okay, so we're getting f sound cues from further, which was uh, one of the items that they mentioned that they've updated. They also made um, several. Ooh, we got a, a moose right there. Uh, they made they made several improvements on multiplayer, as they've been doing with each update. We got a night. Oh, well, it's gonna say it looked like a nice, mature moose, but. It says it's just a one star. So if 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 she will move, we will, we will take our one star mature out. All right, 
So we made an adjustment on where we were at. We got a good view of our one star moose now. So we're just gonna go ahead and take our shot here in just a second. That got him. Oh, this was one we've shot before. So my suspicion here is if you look there in the uh, top left where it says the Alaska moose and the, uh, uh, the that information, uh, you'll notice that it says common. Um, I, I suspect that that is where it'll tell us if it's a uh, rare fur type or not. Um, this one was not, we kind of knew it was not going to be. So we will, we will sell it and we're going to keep on hunting. I think <clears throat> so I think that is a new long kill shot for us. Uh, that was I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was nearly eleven 1 hundred yards. And it looks like this moose is out here floating. Which, if it is, we'll have to come back to it. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to get out there to it.
That sounds amazing. any albinos <clears throat> I don't see any it's a one star young that's a three star mature Ooh, we got two three star matures. All right, here is our other moose. And let's see here. We had actually shot it previously from 649 and a half yards. But this one <laughs> says we got the heart 
and the right lung from 1,092.6 yards. Unbelievable. If you look at that, wow. Yeah. Right through the heart. 32.96 on the genetics. That was a good adult male to take out. <clears throat> All right, so as uh, I mentioned earlier, they did add in a uh, new discoverable fast travel locations here at the uh, parking lots uh, the parking lots themselves are not new as you guys know uh, but being able to have them as a fast travel point is new uh, so we're going to go ahead and reload our ammo And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for uh, this one. Um, overall, my thoughts, love that they're adding new uh, fur variations, or I should say uh, n new animals that have rare fur variations, not really adding in new for variations per se uh, just the types of animals that can have those fur variations uh, we will have to be on the lookout for an albino bison or a melanistic moose uh, we haven't seen one yet but when we do uh, we'll certainly include that in a video um overall do like the other changes uh the the fast travel point for the parking lot was something that was much needed um, i didn't even touch on the uh changes to a weapon All right, so another one of the items that they have added is for the uh, locked uh, cabins, like uh, the uh, Clearwater cabin here. Uh, they've added some taxidermy stands so we can actually display taxidermies here uh looks like this one has a uh, caribou and sitka deer let's see if these are are the same yes they are oh here we go here's one that's got a moose so we'll go ahead and display him Let's see, are there any other taxidermy stands here for us? Doesn't look like it. And uh, another couple of items that they fixed was um, <clears throat> they did fix the they did fix the accuracy on the Remington 1903 
uh, when using iron sights. So that's a good thing for those of you who like to use the iron sights. Oh, that's terrifying. Young female. Let her live. But again, that is that is quite terrifying. Can you growl for me, honey? Growl. <clears throat> Growl, please. She's thinking about it.
Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one as this young lady stares into our soul. But if you did enjoy this video, I would appreciate if you guys would click on that like button. It does help me out. It lets me know you guys want to see more of this kind of content. And also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. And I'll do more videos like this. Uh, but we are at the range of our drone, so we're not going to be able to get in front of her anymore. But with that, uh, as I was saying, I, I do think the uh, changes that they've done, that they did this past week, were great. Much needed. Still need a little more. But yeah, overall, two thumbs up from me as she uh, walks off into the woods. And uh, I will talk to you guys all next time.